Josie DiVincenzo, thank you si, si. for being here. Paolo Spitali. Uh, uh. I, I don't know what you're telling me. Arrivederci. Bene, bene. Yeah, scusi. Yeah. Scusi. <laughs> I should know ones. more. You know, uh, you can relate to this. My grandparents always talked mm. um, Italian when they didn't want us to know what the heck My was going on. My mother and aunt as well. Yeah. And we'd sit around going, in English, we want to know what you're saying. <laughs> well, no, we just knew this like, okay, yeah. let's leave them to whatever they're doing. Something's because happening. Because a lot of the times it was very heated italian sure. you know <laughs> yeah so um yeah we kind of left them yeah. to their thing <laughs> and i know but i would ask my mom do you know what they're saying and she's like no. oh wow they did this all our lives yeah. <laughs> you know well even back yeah. then i mean i would have loved if i knew then what i know now of course yeah is um i wanted to learn it yeah but back then it was kind of like you know not as much in the minds because they were wanting to learn english and be americans and yes. this that and the other yeah. And um, now I can understand an Italian conversation, bits and pieces, enough to sort of know what they're talking about, yes. but there's no way I could yes. respond. No, me either, no. And to even attempt to would yeah. be yeah, yeah. insulting. But when I had to speak <laughs> for Italian me. for yeah. like auditions, I had to. Oh. Then, then I, I have a, an ear for the rhythm, yeah. at least of my mom's region. And you know, it can sound authentic, but I only know what I'm saying because I had it translated. You so know? wait, what what auditions have you had? Well, for to... Cabrini, which didn't come, oh, I ended up that's painting. Right. Yeah. yeah. Painted for Cabrini for six weeks, wow. which was or actually two months, which was awesome. Yeah. But um, they ended up. They said they ended up casting that actually when they went over to Italy. Oh. That role. Okay. I said I'll go to Italy. I mean. Yeah. Sure. I'm here. Take yeah. me. Yeah. But it was fun. It was a good a good little piece. You know. Wow. Yeah. The prep, the the studying, the amount of work you must have done for that? Yeah, just for that. Well, that, I think what people don't realize about actors is the amount of homework and research and time and energy we put into it, but it's not a complaint. I love yeah. it. I'm yeah. sure I know you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the fun. That's a little a too fun, much at times. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But it, that's one of the really fun parts about it. Yeah. And so, no, it was, it was great to translate it. And, you know, it wasn't that huge of a role. So, you know, I was able to do it within yeah. a few days and get it done. Well, that's just the, the same thing with, with like being here at this. Uh, we're live at the Buffalo. Yeah. The casting, Actors casting Expo. Casting Buffalo yeah. Actors Expo. And um, I just, you know, like beforehand you get the nerves and, and, and yeah. like just like an audition. Right. Yeah. And, but then you go and do it. And it's just like, ah. Oh. Had a ball. Oh, this is my this is my thing. Yeah. 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 I had a ball. Yeah. I do the um, half hour auditioning, am I right? <laughs> presentation. Because Which is very fitting for you because I took one of your classes yes, and you it was amazing. Oh, thank um, you. I'm glad. I, I loved it. I loved it because it was different from classes I've taken in the past mm. in a very good way, in that at the end of the class, you gave us a script mm -hmm. and we were, you know, cast as characters in this short film. Yeah. And, and at the end, you got like basically a demo reel. Like yeah. you, you got a short, a short film that you performed in. And that is such an amazing I'm uh, so uh, glad idea? you felt that way. Yeah, I oh had a ball. God. And that was with our buddy Jason Jurowitz, yes. who was the mastermind of that. Because at one point, and then COVID hits and all kinds of things happen yeah. in life, we were talking about that. Like having that at the end of every six-week class and making it look good. Like, you know, yeah. like it came from a 48-hour or something like that. Yeah. So people would have the reels. And you guys did great, the three of you. <laughs> and Jason came up with the story. Yeah. So, and... Uh, well, it, it helped that you wrote the characters for right. us, right? We wrote right? it for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We wrote but that it for was a, you. It was amazing, though. And, and that so happens, glad. you know, that happens in the real world where people cast their friends and, and, yeah. and write for people. Yeah. So like this will um, be a great role for you. And yeah, then, yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 that was amazing. I always talk about that because, really? yeah, yeah, because I mean, what other class do you know? Like I haven't experienced classes yeah. like that yeah. where you get an actual final product at yeah. the end. Not only do you learn, not only do you experience, but you're immersed in filmmaking yeah. at, at the end of the course. There's a real good, um, bare bones 
experience too. Yes. You know, nobody was on deadline. We didn't have to worry about X, Y, Z. And, uh, you know, it was the one camera and everybody knew why we were doing it. Yeah. So in a way, maybe my expectations, because I didn't know what was going to happen. It's good to have not super high <laughs> expectation, yeah. you know. And um, I really feel that something like that is a full package. So we did some scene work, yeah. you know, before that and some auditioning for the camera ideas and whatever. But I'm really glad. I mean, it makes me realize that even the classes I took in L.A. really never did that. Yeah. They were great classes, but they were more about getting you out there, auditioning and getting a role, where here we had time to experience something. So when the majors do come in, you've been in front of a camera. Exactly. You know what your mark means. You know what, you know. It's invaluable. Yeah. It's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, I, I, not only do I talk about it, but I tell people, yeah, you got to take Josie's class. Oh, like thank you, you. You, you, you come out with a final product and it's amazing. And, well, yeah, we haven't done that yeah. for a while. <laughs> and I don't know if we're going to do it again. I'm just saying. But, but thank you. you but that's a great idea to do it again. And yeah. again, I've got to really um, commend Jason for coming yeah. up with that. Yeah. Because I used to have him come in. What was the very first one? It wasn't even to do uh, an ending film. It was to film people doing scenes. And then I think he was the one who said, why not do a, and it was, it was like a 48. Yeah, you know, 48 because we did film. it, yeah. you know, just like that yeah. in one class, right? Yeah. I think we, yeah. I mean, your classes were, I think an hour? No, they were, oh no, those classes were two to three hours were a they? week. Yeah, two, yeah, once a week, two I, to three I hours. Remember. It just yeah. like, I say that because the time flew so fast yeah. for me. Um, and you know, same thing with that, the final filming class. No. Yeah. It wasn't that no. long. No. Yeah. No, we did it. Yeah. And I know he was working hard, though. Because, of course. Oh, my God. Because we wanted it to be more than just point and shoot. You yeah. know, we needed a couple of different angles over the shoulders, but also to be creative. Yeah. You know, but yeah. thank you. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled you feel that oh, way. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. I'm just sorry I couldn't see your... Oh. I'm, I'm in here podcasting while, while you're doing your thing. But... That was a ball. Talk about, yeah. you know, that's the thing is, yeah, I've... I've um, taught a lot of this stuff, master classes, whatever, taught it in Niagara U. But you do, even this morning, I was like, oh, I hope, I hope this is good. I hope I don't, you know, it's that like, that, you know, imposter syndrome I will yeah. have to the day I die. Yeah. So I really know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I did a uh, PowerPoint. I, I had fun creating this PowerPoint and I only had 30 minutes. So I was like, guys, I'm going to have to talk the whole time because I usually love to ask questions yeah, and get course. information. Yeah, of course, interactive, yeah. That would have been an hour and a half. Yeah. So I did it. I had a ball. Um, I, I went through the whole thing. I was like, you know, and uh, at the end, you know, great. And da, 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 da. I had a lot of people there, this and the other. And then I was like, oh, I have to do it again. <laughs> and that's theater, though. Yeah. But that's, yeah. I have my script. It's yeah. not like I had to think of all this stuff that's right there. Yeah. And the jokes I made or whatever may not be the same ones mm -hmm. or I don't know. But you're saying, but when you get there, you're on and you love it and you're in it. Yeah. And you're like, I'd rather not be anywhere else. Yes. Yeah. You know, except maybe a Buffalo you're Bills exhausted. game. But <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Go Where Bills. else would you rather be? Go Bills. Yeah. 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 And, you know, afterwards you're exhausted, you're yeah. spent. It's like a workout. Yeah. Mental, physical, emotional. And I mean, just like, just like after a workout, you feel like satisfied. Yeah. You know, you're like, yeah. you're scrubbed. Oh. Like you're, you're, you know, you feel scrubbed on the inside. Yeah. Boom. We yeah. did it and it happened, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that was, it, this is really an amazing event. Yeah. I walked in, I was like, whoa. Yeah. Before anybody even came through the doors, mm -hmm. all the tables, all the setups, all the little, you've got this going on the stage where people were doing things. And then I mean, there's a hundred people just as vendors. Right. Yeah. Right. And I talked to Harry. Yeah or Kyle last week, and it was 300 people and counting that, that were bought coming. Tickets. That yeah. bought tickets, yeah. bought tickets, even more so now. Yeah. So, and then once they open the doors, you know, and it's, it's great for everyone, whether yeah. you want to dabble or you've been doing this a long time. Yeah. You know, people like me can get a little jaded and feel like, all right, they're gonna have, you know, but I feel like, man, never, always yeah. be open. Yeah. You don't know who you're gonna meet, what you're gonna learn, the thing you hadn't thought of that you knew all along, all of that, even preparing for a presentation, yeah. you learn yes. because of the things you want to remember to talk about and what's going on now. And I want to remain relevant. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's been a while now since I've worked in L.A. I mean, I've worked in films here. I've got, I'm sorry, I keep hitting this. That's okay. Is it making noise? A little bit. But okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, just be yourself. We're Italian. We I do, know, I know. This is what we do. Can't sit on my hands and we speak. We can't talk. <laughs> 
without our hands. You know what? I have to laugh. So David yeah. Ottavino yeah. doing the voiceovers yes. was after me. Same thing. He was like a mile a minute. He was. I was like, look yeah. at these Italians yeah. go. It's very yeah, funny. Exactly. So yeah. So yeah. it's um really just overall learning experience. The people you meet or you've heard of, but now they're here, etc. But what I love about this whole day is the camaraderie, yeah. the tribe. How many people do we, we know so many people now. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, there's theater, there's film, there's all kinds of people. And it's this overall feeling of like, yeah, man, we're doing this. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. We've got something to do, something to say. And we're how excited exciting to it. be here now. Like you said, like, like this is happening now, yeah. you know, 10 years ago, it wasn't. No, Not, couldn't have. <laughs> right? Couldn't have. Yeah, it's happening now. We're, we're experiencing a Buffalo film renaissance. Absolutely. And Big to, time. To be here and to be part of it and to be at our skill level, at your skill level is obviously so much higher than mine. Wow. That, <laughs> that you, you know, I've been to fortunate be, with experience, well, but <laughs> you're wonderful. Well, I'm you. saying this, it's oh, true. No. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and I well, did a, a scene, well, a, a short, yeah. where we were opposing lawyers. That's right. And like yeah. I said, we should have a series we were, yeah. we were, I loved working with we you. Really I loved good. it. Yeah, me yeah, too. It was great. Yeah. It was great. And it was amazing to work with you at that, at, at, and that, um, oh, where Mind were of we? Moses, it was, yeah. it was called. Yeah. Mind of Moses. Yeah, that was, that was a cool, and, cool short. Um, and Peter Johnson was in it. Yeah. Right? Directed by Corey, Corey Green. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the, the, our local actors were in it. Yeah. And that's just the thing. Like, you know everyone here. So fun. Yeah. So great. And it's such a feeling of belonging and hope and encouragement. You know, like, yeah. And when Kyle first talked about this, I, first of all, didn't imagine it to be this huge in terms of the yeah. space itself. Yeah. Then the number of people. Then for my half hour presentation, I walked in. It was a classroom like this. And I go, well, if I get six or eight people, that'll be okay. You never know who the next, and then there were like 70. There were people, I saw people flooding in to go see you. Like people were elbowing each other to get in there. I was like, wow. oh wait, what's going on in there? I, don't, I mean, oh, that's, that's Josie's room. But yeah. I will say it's also because the subject matter is auditioning. Yes. And right now it's such, that's why I called it auditioning, am I right? Mm -hmm. Because there are three things that happen when you get a self tape, you could either get excited or terrified yeah. or feeling like my whole day's gone now. Yeah. I'm gonna spend all day setting this up and making it work. I felt all of those every time. Yeah, definitely. All of those. Definitely. Ugh. And right now I think it's- I'm getting anxiety thinking about it. I know, right? Because, <laughs> yeah. I, because you, it's such a new area now, yeah. all the self tapes. It's one thing to know you're going into a room. Like if a movie comes here, years ago when they first started coming here, you had to audition in the room. Yeah. That alone could be a little nerve wracking for folks who aren't used to it. I love it. I love auditioning. Yeah. To quote Al Pacino, he said, it, I don't audition, I act. Yeah. It's a chance to act. I love yeah. going in and just showing them what I got exactly. and having fun. Yeah. But it's very daunting for a lot of people. So now there's this, self-taping, like what? So that I think is why so many people clamored in because they really, they really need to know. And my yeah. reason for doing it is I want the major film companies to come here and know, look, it's not a matter of talent. Buffalo's got a, a, a great number of yeah. very talented people. Yeah. It's about, I need these people to know when they're coming to our city, they've got pros. They have people who know how to audition. They know how to send a tape. They know how to set it up, frame it, light it work with the person off camera, do the script analysis. When they get that, I want them to be as excited as they are about our crews. Right. They love our crews. They that's need right. to be as excited about our actors. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And I think that's, that's <clears throat> really important because, um, you know, anytime a big uh, uh, film comes to a little town, not, not just Buffalo, yeah. they figure, they, they think that, you know, they're going to have to cast outside. Yeah. And I mean, I, how do you think that we could make it known more that we've got really good talent here? Well, I love that question. I know that the guys in Casting Buffalo, Kyle, Harry, and Traz, absolutely, um, you know, advocate and champion. Um, it's, it starts with the casting director if they're picked up by the production company, but even before that, I know the Buffalo Film Commission has a way of speaking with them, but if there's a way that 
maybe we can, and I, I would I talked to Rich Hall about this, and he's so mm -hmm. amenable, I know. But I wonder, That's beyond just having... Rich Wall. Yeah, Rich Wall. Film. Yes, um, from the Buffalo Film Commission and Tim Clark. And Tim Clark. If there's a way to go beyond just knowing that they can look up a website and see that we have people, I don't know. This is a great question. Getting the word out in a way where before they even cast in L.A., Atlanta, Chicago, that they can be aware that we have these people here. It'll save them money. They don't have to travel. That's We're right. here. Yeah. So, and I think that's a question for Kyle and Harry and Traz, because I bet you they've got better answers than I do. Yeah, yeah. But I know that I'm on the train of training folks, so we have that reputation. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not coming in with people that have only three lines yeah. all the way from Los Angeles yeah. when any one of us can do it here. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And I've seen that happen too. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been passed up for roles yeah. for that too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard not to internalize that stuff. Right. It's like, oh, I wasn't good enough. I think ah. the word local, I know, and I, I, you know what, though? You, I can vouch, and for our listening audience at home, you never have to worry about that. I know the actor you are, but it's oh. so natural to feel that way. Yeah. It's so, it really is, and as part of the business, too, man. They talk about a skin of the rhinoceros and a heart, what did Uta Hagen say? They have to have the skin of a rhinoceros. Oh. Whoever's listening, somebody might know. Yeah. And the heart of, I don't know, maybe Bambi, but I mean, yeah, you've got to yeah, like. Yeah, you've got to have that thick skin, yeah. Yeah, but you've yeah. got to have the heart to keep you going. But yeah. it's so hard to not go back to your talent and think it was you. Yeah. Nine times out of nine and a half, did you fit the suit, whatever that is, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's so tough. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. But, I mean, if you can persevere like you have and... Mm -hmm. Uh, you, you'll find it fulfilling, I think. A big time. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any regrets. Yeah. I do not. A lot of it was cockeyed optimism. <laughs> you know, I was like, you got to have some of that too. I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Crazy. Exactly. So. Yeah. Well, I know you have a, a class to give. Yeah. I don't want to keep you here forever. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes. Right. Give your well, beautiful for doing family this. a hug. I will. Thank you for having yeah. me. This was no, awesome. Of course. Yeah. We got to do this again. We will. Okay. Go Buffalo. All right. Thank go, you. Go Bills. <laughs>